For these recent arrivals, overcrowding is a sign of things to come. They're forced to wait in a cramped school yard before moving on. There are no tents here, no tarpaulin sheets and little aid. The only help they receive is from local Bangladeshis. This is near where they've just come from, the Naf River, which just weeks ago was the main crossing point. Local Bangladeshis say they had never seen anything like it. They looked very hungry. They said they hadn't eaten for five days. I felt so sad seeing their faces. They said the Myanmar army had persecuted them a lot. It's hard to imagine a place this serene witnessed an unprecedented exodus of people, with many dying on the way. This point of the Naf River is the shortest distance from Myanmar to Bangladesh. It's the route that tens of thousands of Rohingya refugees used to escape the violence in their country. Most of them are now living in refugee camps just a few kilometres away from here. Where conditions are desperate. The flimsy tents barely keep out the monsoon rains. Food is in short supply and sanitation is virtually non-existent. But for many, it's still better than what they've left behind. It was a very difficult journey. As we were trying to escape, the Myanmar army was shooting randomly. We had to swim across the river. It was this deep. We were so hungry. It took us eight days to reach the border. I'll never return to Myanmar. I'd rather die. Steps are underway to address some basic needs. But it's not enough for half a million refugees. Most can expect to languish in these filthy, squalid camps for years, if not decades, to come. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.